like to say good morning. Good morning. good morning. good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is our House of Praise Sunday morning Bible study. It's also our communion Sunday and early dismissal. We want to thank all of you that are tuning in by way of YouTube on today. For those that will be watching by Facebook Live, go ahead and give yourself a round of applause because it's very early on the Sunday morning. Yes, yes, you come out to receive the word. There is a word from the Lord on today. If you have any ill will toward anyone or you fell out with someone, it don't matter who it is, go ahead and in your heart forgive them. And if you have opportunity to call them and make it right or send them a letter or send them a text and just tell them you forgive them and you love them, go ahead and do that today because we don't want to take communion if we have ill will in our heart because this is the body of Christ that we are partaking of. Amen. He shed his blood so you and I can have a right to the tree of of life. Amen. All right, without further ado, Sister A, we're going to come and give us a scripture of prayer, one selection, and then we're going to go higher in our lesson and our communion. We'll dismiss you. Amen. 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 Give her a hand clap as she come. I'd like to say good morning to everyone. Good morning. Today is a good day to be in the house of the Lord. I'm so grateful to be here this morning. Amen. I'm so happy to see everyone. I want to take this time to welcome you all out to our morning Bible study and Communion Sunday as well. Amen. We thank you for coming out this morning to worship with us, and we take that not for granted. You could have chosen any other place to be, but we're so grateful that you chose House of Praise, and we love you, and we take that not for granted. Open up your heart, ears, and mind to receive what God has to say to you on today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our scripture reading is Psalm 23, 1 through 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers and readers and doers of his holy word. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to be here on today. Lord, we thank you that we're on top of the ground and the ground is not on top of us. Father, continue to strengthen us and lift us up when we build us up when we're torn down. Have mercy on us, Lord. If we offended our brother and sister in Christ, please forgive us and have mercy on us, Lord. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, create in us a pure and clean heart, and renew within us a right spirit, O oh Lord. Lord, we just thank you for allowing us another chance to be here this morning. Uh, we're on top of the ground once again, and it's not on top of us. And Father, forgive us for all of our sins that we committed knowingly and unknowingly. If we offended our brother and sister in Christ, please forgive us, Lord. And Father, we want to lift up all those that are here under the sound of my voice this morning. Bless them in a mighty way. Touch them. Lift them up when they're weak. Build them up when they're torn down. So, uh, Father, wrap your loving arms around them and let them know that they're not in this by themselves, that you're here to comfort them. All those that are on the way, <clears throat> I pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you let them make it here safe and sound. And bless all the ones that wanted to be here this morning, but for some reason or another, bless them in their absences, wherever they may be. And if anyone here that's have aches and pains in their body, 
Father, I ask you to just touch them right now. Touch them in a mighty way. Heal them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. We also want to lift up the man of God that you have blessed us with. Continue to feed him, Lord, with more wisdom and more knowledge and more understanding. I rebuke any adversaries that may try to come against him in the authority of Jesus' name. Bless us all, Father, and keep us all in your hallowed hand. And as we approach <clears throat> these holiday seasons, Heavenly Father, let us put you first and let us remember that you are the reason for a season. Let, let us never forget that, Lord, and let us love one another, be patient with one, one another. Let us be kind and thoughtful. Bless our neighbors and bless our co-workers, our bosses, our children, our grandchildren. Bless us all in a mighty way. And Father, continue to lift me up and let me be a light as well into this dark and dying world. That people may come crying, asking what must they do to be saved. And I thank you. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. to protect really for communion yes. but I want to give you a little word to carry a lot today amen. Amen. something that can just empower you to keep on keeping on that's all God asks you to do if you can just hang in there until Jesus return amen. you're going to be fine yes. the Bible says he that endure to the word end shall be saved yes. let us pray we turn about our father we thank you for all those that are here under the sound of my voice yes. we thank for those that desire to be here today who could not be here. Father, I lift a special prayer for every person, 
that's here right now yes. and their loved ones, yes, Lord, their Lord. family members, yes, their husband, their wives, their children, their grandchildren, yes, their friends, Lord. their neighbors, yes, their Lord. co-workers. Yes, I want to say a special prayer for Brother Reese in his absence. Yes, I want to say a special prayer for Brother Dixon family yes, yes, who's bereaving, but God is healing them and strengthening yes, yes, them and bringing them yes, together. Yes, I want to say a special prayer for all those that are watching by way of YouTube. Yes, yes, for yes, those that are going through something today, God is able to do it. Receive the body yes. above all you yes. ask or think. Yes. Just yes. trust in the Lord with yes. all thine heart. Yes. And lean yes. not to thy own understanding. Yes. And all your ways acknowledge him. Yes. And he will direct your path. Yes. Father, we ask that you forgive us yes. of any yes. sins we yes. committed yes. against yes. you or anyone yes. else. Please. Before we partake of this holy communion, yes, Holy Spirit, we thank you for enabling us to be a part of your kingdom yes, and your family. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give yourself a hand clap. Give up this morning. It, it's Thanksgiving weekend. You don't have to be here now. Amen. All right. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. You don't have to. There's a lot going on right now. Amen. It ain't nothing wrong with spending time with family, but, but you don't have to come this way. Yeah. Amen. And see, people don't think God looks at that. He looks at that. Amen. Gideon Amen. was in a cave hiding. Mm -hmm. He loved his people, but he wanted to live. Amen. And he was just trying, he was hiding from the enemy in the cave, brother Dixon, yeah. trying to fix him some need. Yeah. Amen. And the angel said, come on out of there, you mighty man of valor. God needs you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Some of y'all are hiding, scared of folk and scared of situation. And God said, I need you because you got heart, you got soul. Yeah. Come on out of there. Yeah. Amen. 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 Your cave may just be the wrong people in your in your in your Amen. room. Come yeah. on, come Amen. on. You may have the wrong associations on your on your social media. You may have some people on there you need to cut off. You need Amen. to block. Right. God sends right. somebody right. more. Right. Come on out of here. Amen. I don't know Amen. who I'm talking on, about. I know I'm talking to somebody. Amen. They don't want to see you move far. They're trying to keep you down. Amen. Crabs keep other crabs in the bucket. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's why they call the crabs. Yes. Amen. Help us. But I want to talk this morning. I'm I'm not gonna hold you down long. My title is called the love for God. Yeah. The love for God. We talking about us loving oh, yeah. God. We know yeah. God love us. Right. But when you got love for God, I'm gonna show you some things that'll be present in your life. Amen. Now the scripture I'm gonna use is First John four twenty and twenty one. I just want to read that for our opening scripture. This is a powerful scripture. It say, "How can we love God who we cannot see and don't love our brother?" That's it. Yeah. The Bible say, not pastor now. Let me make say you a liar. That's right. When yeah. you say you love God, Amen. who you cannot see and can't love people that you see every day. Amen. The Bible say, not pastor Joe, you a liar. Right. Amen. So Amen. when you love God, you're gonna love his people also. Amen. 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 And so that's what our topic gonna be about for this little Amen. short moment. Amen. And it's first John chapter four. Verse 20, when you finally say, bless his name. First John, chapter 4. Bless his name. Bless his name. Verse 20 and 21. I just want to read that before I go into uh, my lesson. If a man say, I love God, and hate his brother, he is a what? Liar. 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 For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he had not seen? Amen. And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers. And doers of his word. Amen. God is a spirit, but we say we love him. And we can. Amen. But you don't love your brother who's made in the image of God. Yeah. Now we understand people do stuff to us. The apples in the back hurt us, lie to us, betray us. But you still ought to love them. Yeah. Forgive them and love them. I don't mean you got to fool with them. I can love you and not fool with you. Amen. That's right, man. Uh -huh. That's right. See, we yeah. think when I love people, I got to hang out with them. I got to call them. I got to text them. You ain't got to call them. I'll text them. Amen. Nobody control you but the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I love you, and I got to prove my love to you. I got to prove my love to God. That's the problem. We always try to prove love to That's people it. and not God. Amen. God say forgive them, but love them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's what he said. 
All right. Amen. And when I love you, this I know I love you. When I see you, I don't get a stomachache. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. I don't grit my teeth. Yes. Yes. Amen. I don't squinch my eyes. Yeah. I don't turn and go the other direction because I see you coming. If we meet, we meet. I'm going to speak. Amen. I'm going to say, how are you? And I'm going to keep moving. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 Watch this. When a believer loves God, it will keep him loyal to God and faithful. Yeah. Amen. That's what love will do. It will keep you serving God and you'll be loyal and faithful to the best of your ability. Now, I ain't say you know I say you're going to be perfect. I say loyal and faithful does not mean we don't make mistakes. Yeah. Amen. Right. Or even do things sometimes that displease God. Mm -hmm. But our convictions for dishonoring him will move us back to the place where we got sidetracked because we love him. Yeah. Amen. Yes, I love Amen. God. Yes, I'm human. Yes, I'm going to make mistakes. Yes, I'm going to do some things sometimes that displease him. But I'm going to feel so bad when I do stuff that hurt Amen. him that it's going to make me get back to the point where I got sidetracked and fell off Amen. simply because... I love him. That's Amen. why the title is called Amen. the love for God. Amen. We know God loves him. But if you love God, these are some things going to be present in your life. Yeah. You're going to feel bad when you let yeah. God down. Amen. 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 Just like you feel bad when you let your earthly parents down. Yeah. And some things you'll say, oh, don't tell my daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my daddy going to whoop you. You don't want to be disappointed. Oh, don't tell my mama. Mm -hmm. When I'm teachers, when I was in school, brother, this, I wasn't always the same. Some days I was. <laughs> and they said, I'm going to call your mama. And I said, oh, please don't call my mama. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I don't, don't, please don't. don't. Uh -huh. yeah. Call my daddy for you call my mama. Amen. But I don't want my mama to be disappointed in me. Amen. I know my daddy going to say, good job, son. But I want my mama to be proud. <laughs> you want your mama to be I don't know why we want our mama to yeah. be proud. Yeah. More than our daddies. Just tell the truth now. Yeah. And that teacher said, I'm going to call your mama, Mrs. Jones. I said, please, okay, ma'am. I'm going to stop. Amen. Amen. We will have a true sense of godly sorrow knowing that he deserves our best at all times, just as he always gives us his best when we do him wrong. Mm -hmm. Talking about the love of God. We will have a true sense of godly sorrow, knowing that he deserves our best at all times, just as he always gives us his best. Yeah. Amen. You're gonna feel bad when you let God down. That's right, man. That's right. And if you don't feel bad, then you gotta make sure the Holy Spirit in you. Because remember, there are three that bear witness in heaven: the Word, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is God living in you. And don't yeah. forget that the Holy Ghost is God. And God don't turn against God. Right. So when you feel bad, you're going to grieve that Holy Spirit that's in you. Mm -hmm. When you do bad things. That's right. Or you do things that's not pleasing God. You're going to grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you're going to feel his presence in you. And it won't be a pleasing feeling, but a negative one. Because the Holy Spirit be grieved. The love of God will keep you focused on what is important to him. And your desire to fulfill his will will move you to action. Yeah. Listen at that. The love of God will keep you focused on what's important to him. And your desire to fulfill his will will move you into action because the Holy Spirit in you is God. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So because we love him, it should keep us focused on what's most important to him. This is the season to be thankful. Yes. Thanksgiving yes. every once a year. Right. And this is your time to tell God, thank you for whatever he blessed you with. Right. Your little old car, your little old job, your little old bank account, your little old credit card, your little kids, your whatever. This is the time to be thankful. We should be thankful every day. But Thanksgiving is about being thankful, not about, you know, some potato sand. Yeah. <laughs> now that will make it a little bit more thankful. Now. Don't get me wrong. Now. Come on, man. But the love I have for God, I'm going to still be thankful even though I don't get nothing yeah. to eat. Or what I want to eat. There you go. Amen. Amen. There you go. Look to your neighbor and say, he almost done? He almost done. The love for God will keep you motivated because love is the drawing force, not the gifts. The love we have for God should keep us motivated because love is the driving force. 
Not the gifts, not the stuff Amen. he gives us. Yeah. Amen. Because I love him. Amen. Amen. The other day, it was Thursday night, Pastor called me and said he wanted me to come preach at his church today. I got to preach when I leave here. And as soon as he asked me, God gave me the sermon. I can tell y'all, he don't know it's going to be called Keep On Keeping On. Yeah. As soon as he asked me, God said, tell him, keep on keeping on. Amen. And I got to go right here. Look at all this stuff I got. He don't know. As soon as he called me. Amen. You know why it was easy for me to write that sermon? Because I love God. Amen. Oh, I was thinking on y'all. I'd be like, what am I going to talk about? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's it. It's just like when your wife's birthday comes, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kid, when you say junior birthday next week, you already know you to it. Boy, we finna do a bit. We're going to the jumping world. Yeah. We, we already know what we're going to do because I got to make both. I love that little boy. I love that little girl. You already know you're going to do something nice. That's right. For people you love. Yeah. That's it. Because I love God, He just told me, Amen. Just say, Amen. "Keep on keeping Amen. on." What you gonna tell him? Mm -hmm. Amen. And I keep on keeping on. I wrote all that stuff because I love Him. I'm That's always amazing. looking to hear from Him, That's amazing. seeking Him. That's yeah. amazing. Thank you, Jesus. It will keep you motivated. Yes. When Brother Dixon called me, told me he wanted to do. I'm, I already knew, Lord. I already knew what I want to. Is your house in order? Yes, Lord. Is your house in order? And then I want to be there for my friend. Yeah. I want to be there. Police officer took a while. I told my brother, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. We got to finish this day right Amen. for my brother. Amen. That's right. Amen. And they had a beautiful, and he did a, and I'm not saying he did a beautiful talk, mama. Oh, I said, I thought I, I was going to give a two minute remark, but he, I sat out. I just said, I ain't got nothing to say. Amen. He said it all. Amen. And that showed me he loved God. Because he couldn't have wrote that on his own. No. Amen. He couldn't have wrote that on his own. No way. Watch this. The love of God will not allow you to be easily deterred yeah. okay. when facing opposition or resistance. Amen. The Holy Ghost will enable you to persevere. Yeah. See, when you love God, you know, some people, it can just, it can, they can be on their way to go to church and it just, it ain't rain, it's, it drizzles. Turn around. They say, oh, Lord, I ain't going to be able to make it. Turn around. I ain't going to be able to make it. I ain't going to be able to make it. And ain't because they don't love God, they just don't love him the way they think they should love him. Yeah. Right. You ain't going to be easily. The Bible says you're not going to. It don't mean you won't be deterred, but you won't be easily deterred when facing opposition or resistance. When things don't go your way, you know what? You're going to have to just pray and ask God to show you another way. Amen. You don't give up so easy because you have love for God and you know God is backing you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost will enable you to persevere. Persevere yes. means press on, move yes, forward. Yes. Yes. Amen. The love for God that you possess will be witnessed and experienced by others around you. If you love God the way you claim you love God, the people around you will experience it and witness it. That's right. That's right. That love you have for God. Amen. In other words, other people are going to benefit from it. Yeah. Amen. There you go. Because you're a loving That's person. It. That's correct. And you love your God. Amen. And they're going to know you love your God. Amen. Amen. Because when you love God, it shows up That's in right. your life. That's right. That's right. Just like when you love the devil. <laughs> Amen. I gotta keep it back. When you people love the devil, you know that mess follow them. When, you do, yeah. when they show up, you already know it's gonna go down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Cause they love the devil. That's right. And the Bible says yeah. he's a murderer from the beginning, and the father of he created the lie. Mm. Did nobody knew how to lie until Satan came on the scene. Amen. He taught Eve them how to lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus said he's the father of lies in John right. chapter eight. John chapter 8. I ain't going to read the scripture. Just read it. Mm -hmm. Start around verse 40. John 8, 40 and read from there. You'll see what Jesus told us. said the devil is the father of lies and he was the murderer from the beginning. That's right. That's right. We're getting ready to close. The love of God will motivate you to encourage others to see God and develop a relationship with him. Yeah. Amen. When you love God, you want to see other people develop a relationship and get saved too. Right. Yeah. You don't That's just right. be selfish. That's right. Amen. Amen. And how do you do that? You invite people to church. Amen. You pray with them. You send them a scripture. You encourage them when they're going down. You do whatever you can to show that you love God and you want to experience that love so you do things that God would do if he was here. Jesus. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. 
Jesus Jesus preached to people, but he also met their uh, material needs too. Yeah. When they was hungry, he what? When they was thirsty, he what? Yeah. All right. They invited him to the wedding, and he went. Amen. They ran Amen. out of wine. Amen. They called Jesus. He turned the water into wine because it was time to celebrate. A wedding Amen. is a good thing. Yeah. Yes. The love of God will motivate you to encourage others to seek God and develop a relationship with him. That's what I want. Amen. That all my people, friends, family, get to know God like I get to know God. Amen. Amen. Look to the next day, close and he closed. Close. Close. Watch this. The love for God will cause you to want to spend eternity with him and him alone. Amen. 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 I'm close with that one now. Yes, Lord. Now, I love him, but I don't want to, Lord, you got to get me out of here. Yeah. Please, if you love me, don't leave me down here. Amen. 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 Nothing good down here Amen. in this old Amen. world. And I don't want to go ahead of time. I want to go on time. But I want to spend eternity with him. That's why I'm trying to keep myself in a disciplined life so I can go and meet the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Say without holiness, you ain't going to meet no God. Now, holy just means I got to be different. That's all. Separate. 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 Yeah. Amen. Just like a hammer and a sledgehammer. Both hammers, but two types of hammer. Yeah. Just like a chicken and an eagle. Both birds, but two different types of birds. Look to your neighbor and say, you an eagle. Quit hanging with them chickens. <laughs> Gonna get in the trouble hanging with them chickens. I'm telling you, you got any chicken friends, encourage them to be eagle. Don't you give up your car, your eagle suit to be a chicken. Yeah. Encourage him to be an eagle. Yeah. And y'all both gonna make it to glory together. Right. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise in Jesus' name. Amen.